As I slowly approached the alleyway where this dude was standing, he jolted his eyes at me and I felt it rush through my spine. Now I get closer and closer and I'm about to pass this dude, right? And just as I'm about to pass him and think it's all over, he grabs me by the hand and then pins me up against the wall. He pulls out from his pocket a bicycle spoke, which to him I guess should be like a broke version of a knife. He points the bicycle spoke to my stomach and then tells me to pull out all my money at this point my heart sunk down to my stomach no no deeper my balls i knew for a fact that any false move at this very moment could lead to my entire demise If you have been watching my videos for any length of time, you would know that I originated from a place that you wouldn't really consider as safe. This place, my G, is called Kafu. And yeah, I've had a few interactions with some creepy weirdos in the past that I can mention today. But there is one incident that I will never forget till the day I die. This story took place about a year before me and my family moved here to Chilanga. It was just a regular day, right? Nothing out the ordinary happened in the beginning of that day, which made it just seem so ordinary. Seeing this was a Sunday and my parents weren't really around during that day, I had to pick up an activity that would that would kill the boredom, you know what I'm saying? Something I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video was for the fact that this incident took place about a week after my birthday, so I had some money. And as this kind, generous person I am, I thought of sharing their money with my friend, who we'll call Jamari. See, Jamari wasn't particularly my best friend, but I thought of sharing my money with with him because he was the closest friend available. The rest of my friends either went for vacation or holiday. So I get up, do the basics, eat my lunch and then proceed to Jamari's house. You know that feeling that you have when you're expecting something really really good to happen so you're just all hyped, you're all stimulated and all that? That's the same feeling I felt when I was walking to Jamari's place. And one thing, I feel like I really have to mention this. Before getting to Jamari's place, there is this alley that they used to call the Dick Gangway. It's basically like a territory for gangsters, bro. That's right, Kafue is a hood. And I thought it was a really safe place to pass because I saw other adults using this way because it was not harmful to adults. Actually, as a matter of fact, me and my mother have passed through this way before. So I thought of it as less of a threat and of course it has to do with the way the gangsters look because these gangsters are 12 that's right nigga I cap you not those gangsters are 12 to 14 year olds they're kids so the idea of adults being afraid to pass this alleyway was crazy but alas me being a kid I flaunted my way through the alleyway like nothing was up right and then I saw this dude he looked surprisingly older than the other gangsters that I really see on this alleyway bro he looked 18 to 20 and don't get me up. I'm not trying to be all stereotypical right now, okay? The reason I assume this dude was a gangster is from the way he was dressing up. His dress code said just so much. He was wearing the type of clothes that make you ask yourself, who the hell are wearing these? Like seriously speaking, he was wearing like gum boots and the baggiest trousers I've ever seen. And that shirt of his, my god. So I'm thinking to myself, who is this person with his I'm trying so hard to look tough looking at? He had a plastic bag on his head. Is he mad? Nobody had ever told me at this point that Kafio was full of people who dress up like they're preparing for a Pokemon battle, bro. Those clothes are extraordinary. Which are Pikachu, I choose you! Looking at hand anything. It, to me, it was just like some dude who was standing by the side of the road who was looking all weird. Now, as I slowly approached the alleyway where this dude was standing, he jolted his eyes at me and I felt it rush through my spine. Now, I get closer and closer and I'm about to pass this dude, right? And just as I'm about to pass him and think it's all over, he grabs me by the hand and then pins me up against the wall. He pulls out from his pocket a bicycle spoke. Which to him I guess should be like a broke version of a knife. He points the bicycle spoke to my stomach and then tells me to pull out all my money. At this point my heart sunk down to my stomach. No, no, deeper. 
my balls. I knew for a fact that any false move at this very moment could lead to my entire demise. Being only a child in this situation, I was freaked out to the bone, to the point where I even failed to do my silent prayer. I just had to accept that this life that I know would be coming to an end and I would be six feet under in no time. Just as I was about to accept my fate, not pull out my wallet and just let this dude kill me and let me go to my final exit, I looked from the corner of my eye and there was a man rushing towards me with a stick. He was planning on beating this nigga up because he was trying to rob me. And when this dude who was trying to rob me just saw this man with a stick, he ran, boy. This nigga didn't even look back, I swear, man. Like, he even left his bicycle spoke on the floor and everything and I was just there standing and looking at this man who was trying to chase him with a stick. And, um... That pretty much concludes my story. So now, moral of the story. Um, I don't really know the moral for this one, guys. Um, uh, look both ways before crossing the road. I, okay, no, 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 no. Always use the safest way when you want to get to somewhere else. Because the day will come when you will wish that you used a different way instead of the way that you usually use what's up fam i hope you enjoyed that video just as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching to the end don't forget to hit the subscribe button to show your support for this channel and also the like button doesn't hurt too and while you're at it you can go check out my music video be like adonis be like adonis you will not regret it fam with that being said thank you so much new videos dropping every monday and thursday and I'll be seeing you soon. I've been seeing visions of me getting riches. I pray that's a legitimate premonition. I'm sending this Jeffrey, they need supervision. Hamza, you sick, but you need a prescription. Back to the mission. Niggas, they shots, but they missed it. With some inaccurate niggas, I see. When you walk up and show me the one you attack from a distance Let it be known, never throw stones Pick up in borders and check them the really I usually scam as a map when they send me But I can keep letting this rap just spare me Be like Adonis Be like Adonis be like a donis. 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 Be like a donis.